For a lot of people, a digital piano, um, it, it's just more convenient. Some people are in apartments. It's, it's different things for different people. Um, so for an example, a digital piano, if you can't practice late at night because you know, you've got a noise problem, then a digital piano is handy. I would just say get the best one you can because you want to you know, simulate as much as possible a real piano tone and touch. So uh, it's just, uh, you know, we take each customer differently um, on, on what their needs are. Digital pianos have improved a lot, even in the last two years, and the prices have come down enormously. So you can get a reasonable digital piano under $2,000 now. Um, there's nothing ever going to be like the real thing, a good piano. Uh, but to be honest, if you've got a, a, a young child that's practicing on a really old piano that's out of tune and the touch is horrible, we'd prefer them on a digital if that's the case because at least they've got something consistent and it's a reasonable instrument to practice on. But in all cases, if you can get a good piano, it's a great investment and uh, it could be a lifetime thing.